Descriptive Scenes for Children. Descriptive Scenes The boys are watching a large bird called a stork. The stork is a very affectionate bird. The one which you see in the cut is carrying its aged parent on its back. The old bird has lost its feathers and is unable to fly. Children, this should teach you to be always kind and obedient to your father and mother. The Flower Garden we will walk in the garden, Charles, and see the pretty flowers. Will you help Anne water them? Do you see that little bird, Charles? Hark! How sweetly it sings, hopping from tree to tree. Away it flies. It has a nest in the tree where the young birds lie on that fine, soft moss. Tub of Flowers Look, sister, here are very pretty flowers. They are in a large tub and some fruit with them. Do you love apples? Oh, here is a rake and a plow that they use for the garden and a harrow for the field. Trundling Hoop George and Thomas and William have said their lessons and are now playing on the green. See how fast they run. Who will get to the other side of the green first? Do all good boys have a hoop? Making Cider it is October. The apples are ripe and beginning to drop from the trees. The men are making them into cider. Come, let us help pick up the apples. They will then be ground in a cider mill, and after that they are pressed, as you see in the cut above. And the juice, when it has fermented, is the drink called cider. Reading. Here is a little boy and girl reading to their mama. If they are good children and get their lessons, their mama and papa will love them. Everyone loves good children. A steamboat. This boat sails very fast, but it is not by wind that it is forced through the water, but by steam. Steam is produced from water when it is kept hot by a large fire. A steamboat will sail against the wind. They are used to convey passengers over rivers and sometimes across the wide ocean. Here is a farmer. He does not lay in bed after the sun is up, but rises early and goes in the field to labor. He does not work in a shop like the carpenter and watchmaker, but plants and hoes corn, cuts down the grass for the cows to eat in winter, and he sometimes plows. He is now plowing. Look and see the plow. This old man has been into the woods and has trodden upon a snake, and it has wound itself about his leg. Little boys and girls should be careful when they walk in the fields and not go among the long grass. Come, Caroline, you have been a good girl this morning. You may now go and look at the flowers in the greenhouse. Jane is already there and plucking some roses. Do you see her? This cut represents a lady with a basket of fruit under her arm. She has been to the orchard to gather apples. John, how many apples can you count on yonder tree? One, two, three, four, five, six. Reading the Bible. Can you read in the Bible, Jane? See this little girl reading to her brother? Mama says it tells us of God who made us and how we can be good children, which would make us very pleasant and happy. Charles, where is James? I expect he is to school. How ill you speak, Charles. You should have said, I suppose he is at school. Where is your book? It lays on the desk. Again, you were wrong. You should have said it lies on the desk. You should ask your mama and your instructor how to speak. You should not make such wrong use of words. James, here is a piece of gold. It is very heavy. Men dig it out of the ground. How bright it is. The End